a horse like Batash, who should go on for many, many seasons to come, um, because he is gelded and he is being minded as well. But one man who has been by his side throughout and has been a key part of his success has been Bob Grace. And it was the end of an era at Charlie Hill's Farringdon Play Stable last night as Bob retired. 34 years, two months and eight days, said Charlie Hills. That's the amount of time Bob Grace worked for the Hills family following his retirement today. Farringdon Place has never known Bob not to be there and it goes without saying we will miss him hugely. Thank you for everything, Bob. Hashtag superstar. Superstar he has been and he is with me right now to close out our program. Bob Grace, good morning. Good morning. Yep, how are you? I'm very well. We've got lovely pictures of you here with Batash, who, who seems to respond to you better than he responds to, to just about anything else, Bob. Um, yesterday must have been a, a bittersweet day, I would have thought. Yeah, a big step, but um, sort of no regrets, really, once I'd made the decision. And But, um, yeah, it was a big step and a, a big decision, yeah. But uh, it's done, though, so... <laughs> so. Uh and Bob, 34 years with the, with the Hills family. Just just tell me how and why it all started. Uh, well, I worked from, I was with Michael Dickinson when he was at Manton, and obviously when the governor took over, um, I stayed there and, and been there ever since, or you know, been with the family ever since. And so, so that was how I that was how I worked for him. <laughs> and when Barry took over at, at Manton, just tell me a little bit about that time, the, the sort of <laughs> the transition from. From Michael Dickinson to Barry Hills, two very, very different characters. Oh, definitely, yes. It was uh, an education in, in in two different ways. I presume would be a, one way of putting it. It was. Uh, it certainly woke us up when when the governor started there. We we, we had to change our ways, shall we say? But uh, <laughs> it's a long time ago now. I can only just I only just remember it. <laughs> were, were you all a bit more um, a bit more well disciplined after a fairly short while of Barry taking over? <laughs> you can say that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and and Bob, before Batash came along, and obviously we've known you very well these last two or three years because of your association with him. What were some of your most treasured moments in the sport? Well, I mean, I, I looked after just a judge that won an Irish Guineas, and I also looked after Dark Angel as well. It was Batash's sire, and you know various other good days. I mean, I looked after horses for Mrs. Corbett, who owned Dark Angel for thirty years, I think it was. I never missed a year looking after one of her horses, which I'm very proud of so you know, it's been a good life yeah most of the time the odd bad day one or two things that have, that have you know gone wrong with horses and one died on the gallops one day when I was at the races and things like that but um, yeah it's been a great life really and, and Bob did, did you think that, that this would be your career when, when you were starting out did you think that, that this would, would dominate oh no 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 I never I mean I never really knew what I'd do when I left school so but um but uh, yeah, I sort of fell into it, and and I've, I've freely admit most of my enjoyable days through my life have been to do with racing. It's been great. I still, still enjoy the racing part, but uh, I don't enjoy the getting up at half past five in the morning when it's minus five degrees and scraping the ice off the car. <laughs> 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 I'm not as keen as I used to be for that. <laughs> but given how much the the sport consumes people who work in it, and especially the, the really good horses. Um, do you think it'll be an easy enough transition to make to sort of step half to one side? Yes. Yeah, I think. Well, I mean, I've got a lot of other interests. I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a good spectator of a lot of other sports, should we say? So, and uh, I've got a lot of books to read and places to visit, things to do. So, hopefully, when this lockdown's all finished, it can, you know, I can live a normal life and do things that I want to do when I want to do. If that makes sense. So, but um, you've got to have a balance to your life, haven't you? But I'm sure I was to still be. I should still be at the Salisbury night meetings, hopefully, and, and you know, I should still be very interested in the racing, yeah. Um, we're going to look forward to seeing you there. Just talk to me a little bit about this, this journey with Batash, which has thrust you into a little bit of prominence late oh. in, your, in your career, and it must have provided some, some pretty spectacular moments as well. Oh, that's great. I mean, I mean obviously, the, the, the first none thought was, I would sort of say, one of the best two or three days of, of my racing life. Um, you know, when he went in France in Chantilly, that was a terrific... A terrific weekend, you know. Various, yeah. You know, it's, it's hard to put into words because you, you know, you, you, you look at this little horse that you see in the box every day and give him a pat and a carrot, and 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 yet this this horse that everybody seems to love for some reason, so or not for some reason, but you know. So it was, yeah, it's just terrific, really. It's just a, 
well, I, hopefully I did my bit with him and he did his bit for me, I think would be a, is that the best way to put it? <laughs> and isn't it, isn't it that he's just the purest, purest embodiment of, of why people like the game? Because they want to see which animal can run fastest. And he can run fastest, uh, you know, faster than any other horse in the, in the world, pretty much. Yeah, 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 probably so, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's not really... He's not... The, well, I mean, he is complicated, but he's not complicated, is he? That's it. It's A to B is quicker than everything else, and that's a, that should be the nature of the game, shouldn't it? And you talked about what you'd done for each other. What was it that you... What, what was it about you that got inside his head, and what was it about him that you really warmed to? I don't know. We're probably just as bad as he said, or I suppose, me. <laughs> <laughs> You tell me. If I knew that, then I'd be a clever man, I think. <laughs> do, you, do you think he's going to miss you, Bob? Um, well, he's, he's been at Shadwell for the winter anyway, so so um, I don't know. He'll have, Bluey will look after him. He'll do a good job. He's a, you know, he's, he was, I mean, he looked after Anna Lawrence Dam, so there's a, a perfect replacement there. So I'd like to think he would, but, but I'm, you know, I'm not convinced, shall we say. <laughs> Let's hope he does. And, and it, if you can, will you be there at his, his races next year? Um, see how things go. I don't want to be. I don't want to be seen to be sort of looking in everybody's way. Does that make sense? You know, it's a. But um, I should imagine I'll probably be. I'll probably be turning up somewhere. <laughs> well, Bob, um, congratulations on on thirty four brilliant years. Um, I think Charlie's tweet said it all. And thank you for everything you've done with some terrific horses dark angel just the judge and particularly these these last three years and and thank you very much for talking to me today yep no problem pleasure okay